Hey, doesn't that graphic look familiar? Guys, the support on the channel has been absolutely insane. We gained just over 500 subscribers in a little bit over a week. I'm truly humbled and floored and can't thank you guys enough. And that also triggers another Clan Wars. What is Clan Wars? Well, if you're new around here, for every 500 subscriber we get, we get together as a community to celebrate and play some territorial together. If you ever want to play with me or the community, this would be a great opportunity to do so. We'll be doing it this Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. If you want to join along, I'll be streaming it and it'll also be in the Discord. Just as an FYI, the Discord uh, speaking roles are locked for those who have enough channel points just to control the chaos. But I'm super excited to play with all you guys. Hope to see you guys there this Saturday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific. For now, enjoy the video. Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We are starting off today here in a 53-person free-for-all battle here in Europe. Now, full sitting is allowed. I would like to go to my spot. Everyone wants to go to that spot. Okay, it's must become the word's gotten out, boys. It's no longer a good spot. Let it be noted. We'll try up here in Russia, I guess. I got bullied off that one real hard. But let's see how well this does. Now, the person above me is really scary. He's got a great start to himself. And he's all alone up there. He could get really big really quickly. Let's hopefully be able to outplay him. Uh, that's all it's really going to come down to. If he's a very competent player, I'm not sure what my chances are going to be. But we're just going to play our game here and get going here. It is Demix. Demix is going to be his name. We also have Nubia over in uh, Eastern or Western Russia, Finland area. And then the Russian Empire over to our west as well. Now, one thing I did also want to explain is I did get some questions of what is an infinite growth phase. And oh, gosh, sorry about that. So this is what an infinite growth phase is right here is I get to about 7,000 troops with this growth strategy and I keep going and keep refilling the bar and keep attacking until the free land runs out. Sorry for not explaining that a, a lot. <laughs> I've played about 300 games and sometimes you forget that not everybody knows what you know. But uh, thank you for that comment. Uh, I do appreciate it. If ever there's anything that you're confused about why I do, feel free to ask in the comments down below. I answer every single comment, but let's go keep going. Keep going down in Adele. Now I am very worried about Demix and what he's going to do. So I'm trying to give him a little bit of an out to go down into the east. And I'm just going to focus on the west over here. But if he's not going to take it, I might have to knock him off a little bit. As we are now kind of getting hit by bots, we are a little bit weak enough a state. Not where I wanted to end up. We end up in fifth place overall. So again, I did sacrifice a little bit of land there to make sure that Demix got a little bit of border we will take a truce with you and just kind of wait and see what's happening here i'm not a big fan of nubia having a little bit of a land buffer on me but i'm gonna let that slide for the time being and just continuously build up troops uh player 152 is going down into the empire down below us we'll keep an eye on that but nothing we need to be concerned about let's get a truce with demix in fact let's get truces with everybody around us this is a great indicator to see who is going to be a friend of yours and who is going to be a potential enemy as we get one with the russian empire so that is very good for us and uh not the uh the white player below us okay that is a little bit interesting on his part so i guess we're just going to keep saving up now this uh, purple player below us is not exactly playing smart i'm going to knock off nubia right now just to eliminate that little bit of a threat he doesn't have a lot of troops this player below me is rather weak yeah player 152 and me had the same thought let's go ahead and start giving some attacks in there we're both at similar strength and i need a way out if i don't get this way out i'm going to be very scared oh and he full sends on player 152 i kind of forgot that there was full sending there for a moment and uh, did not take that into account when I was... Who are you? Wow. Okay, that's a massive crown. That's a very scary crown. I don't think he's going to attack me because he has pretty terrible borders on me. And what I mean by that is it's a very narrow border. Where if he started attacking me, other players would join in. He wouldn't get much out of that. But he would risk a full send for me. And I don't think he wants that right now. So what are my options? Well, I'm going to play very quiet. And hopefully something else develops around me. In this situation, it's it's a little early to try and take on the crown with somebody. You want some strong people to do it with you, so bide your time and just kind of let him do his thing, and hopefully he doesn't expand into you. Now, that is exactly what player 152 wants to do. I do not agree with that. I, I'm much a big fan of saving up and potentially going into Nubia. Nubia's getting attacked over here. I think this is a good move for us. He only has 600,000. We're at red interest, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if we're going to get full center or not. Russian Empire is going into the, the Glacier player over there. That is an interesting move. Oh, and the Glacier player full sends. Oh, man, if we were only a little bit faster. Once you get up to 60,000 troops, you or 60,000 pixels, you move much faster. We'll still get a good chunk of land out of this, jumping up into fourth. Demix has left and become a bot. Well, that kind of solves the problem of what to do with Demix. And uh, player 152 is also in agreement that we need to take him out. Now, I'm going to be a little bit patient here, waiting for that attack to finish up. And now I'm going to start going into Demix. So this will help us out. Now, we are very far behind the crown, but getting this land is going to give us the opportunity to build up and do something with it. So we'll just keep going into here, grabbing the rest of Demix. 
And that will be the end of him. The mix. I keep calling him something different every single time. <laughs> okay, that crown's gotten a lot bigger. This might be the time. There are some big players around him. We got Russia will lose war, Empire. They might all join in. Russian Empire goes in right away. I'm in. I'm in. I'm not going to get cut off here. I'm definitely in. I just need one other person to join me. Hopefully somebody else will join in. Now this attack is going on for a very long time because it's in a narrow space and my troops are not getting used as much. We are getting counterattack, but Russia will lose war. Is also joined in. Player 152 is also joined in. And down is going the crown. He is going to be rather weak now. We will not be in the power position after this. We're going to have to make some tough decisions of where to go next. And unfortunately, it's probably going to involve betraying some of our allies as we are very thinly holding on here and we are cut off. I think that's what 323 was trying to do. It was a smart play. Unfortunately for him, it was a little bit too little too late as the floodgates had opened. I think I want to go into player 152. Now that will that will strengthen the new crown or one of them. I don't know. Let's just do it. This might be a bad move. This might be a good move. I don't have a truce with empire below me and that is a little scary, but uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm going to give you the broken heart brother. I had no other world to go. This was kind of it. I'm very sorry. I hope you understand. Empire has now become the new crown. So Russian Empire and then USA below are also joining in on this. They are weakening him up to a point, but I'm going to be left doing this alone as now nobody else can attack him besides me and Empire. So we have traded one bad enemy for another, but we have strengthened ourselves in the process. So I don't know if we're going to be the winner in this scenario. 152 does leave instead of full sending. What a, what a man's man. <laughs> I definitely deserve that full send, but it was my only hope getting out of here. And now we have at least a little bit of an option here. Now, we could go into Empire of Rusk. Let's try and get a truce with Russia. We'll lose. That is a very important person to be allied with. As down in Africa, there's just absolutely nobody. If Empire just goes straight through there, that's going to be a problem. Russia will lose wars going into the Russian Empire. And the Russian Empire full sends them. Oh, huge opportunity for us as we get so much land. We jump up in the second place. We're only 20,000 pixels behind the crown. Now the game has changed. Now the game has changed. Me and Russia will lose war and definitely take on the Empire. Brother, do you want to do this? What, what's your thoughts? What's your thoughts? Let's wait for his reply. See if he does anything. I ha kind of have to do this at this point. Otherwise, he's just going to keep rolling. He says, yes, we're in. Let's go. I don't see him attacking. That's fine. Oh, you know what? He's boating. This is a very smart strategy. What he's essentially trying to do is make me do a lot of the heavy lifting. He's going to cut me off at the edge of the map and then take most of the land. Now, that's not a guarantee that's going to work out that way. We're just going to keep playing this because at this point, we can't sit around and do nothing. We might get second place out of this game, but we'll try our best to get first. As you never know what's going to happen, you never know who the Empire is going to attack. As Russia will lose war, sent another boat. Not sure about that second boat. It's just kind of widening his borders where he wants narrower borders so that he can more effectively cut me off from the crown, but that's perfectly fine. We're going to keep timing our attacks at the half mark, although I'm a little bit worried that Russia will attack. He's getting attacked by this purple player. That seemed rather foolish. Let's go again. As he's going to get a little bit stronger, Empire's trying to cut him off on that end. Yeah, that purple player was, must have been trying to befriend the crown because he went into Russia and that was a losing war. Empire, fortunately, by grace, is really focusing in on Russia will lose war instead of me. So that entire strategy that Russia will lose war had about cutting me off is completely mute at this point. I have wide open borders all the way to the bottom. Now, there is full sending allowed, but again, I am very close to his strength. I'm only 20,000 pixels behind. Russia will lose war. You add a hit, my, mine and his strength combined will be very strong. You, unknown T's asking to, to attack. I'm saying, brother, let's do it. I offered him a truce. Hopefully he accepts that. This will be much easier on a three front war and definitely divide things a little bit more in our favor. Now, if Russia becomes the crown, that's not the worst thing as we do get counterattacked. Because he's in the middle, there's a lot of players that are going to be incentivized to want to attack him. But Russia will lose war has completely stopped it. Okay, there goes an attack. Unknown T is giving a lot of attacks. What a brave soldier down there. Very much appreciate his efforts. We are getting closer. We're only 1,000 pixels behind, and we actually get the crown. Ooh, big development here. Big development here. But Russia will lose war. It looks to be taking a passive interest in what's going on in the rest. I'm a little bit afraid that he's either going to turn on me or just let me do the rest of the work against Empire. Now, I'm not that concerned. Unknown T is still down there doing a little bit of work. Bari offers me a truce. I'll accept that as well. Never a bad situation to have as many troops, the truces as possible. Zvari gives the heart. Let's go into Empire. Now, Empire is going to have a much easier time taking down Unknown T than Russia will lose war. I'm a little bit afraid of this as Russia will lose war is again being incredibly passive in this. And oh, he's actually boating into Unknown T. Okay, so he's definitely playing for the win. He's not playing for the alliance. 
as he's trying to grab as much land as possible. I'm stuck in a position where now I've made an enemy out of Empire. Russia's cut ties with this a long time ago. Unknown T full sends on Russia. That's going to strengthen Empire. Very unfortunate for me because I was building up a little bit of an advantage. Unfortunately, um, I've lost a lot of that. I might even lose the crown at the end of this. And now I'm in a scary position. Maybe Russia will lose war, will attack Empire with me. But more realistically, he might go after a weaker player uh, over in the West. Bari's asking me to attack. Russia will lose. It's not the worst scenario, especially because Russia stopped helping me. I don't know what to do in this scenario. I think I'm just going to keep pushing down Empire and hope that Russia will join back in. If he does not, we're going to have to really change our tactics on this. I don't know exactly what to do. Someone's voting for peace. I don't want to end this game voting for peace. My vote would put it over and we would end in peace. But this is not a situation where you just end in peace. You've been building up for such a monumentous moment this entire time. We're just going to keep going into Empire. We will see how things develop from here. If uh, Russia will lose war, brother, do you want to get back involved in this? What's uh, what's going on? You're just kind of sitting at max cap, and that's a that's a little scary. Yeah, Empire started to attack me as M Russia has completely stopped attacking him, so he, Empire has no reason to attack him anymore. And I do see a boat from Russia going over into Us Usania, the uh, player in the Iberian Peninsula. Yeah, he's going to be boating over there to try and take out the weakest player. An interesting move on his part. Now, this could backfire. This is one of those scenarios where when you... When you start doing something and you stop and you're very obviously playing for yourself and not helping out your team anymore, your teammate can turn on you. And that's definitely a thought that's entered into my brain is what happens if Russia takes the crown because he's now in second place by a decent margin. And uh, he's basically taken out the player in the Iberian Peninsula. It's a complete bot. We'll see how big he gets. Drew Earthquake and Varia are over there to get as much land as possible. And Russia does get the, yeah, does get the, the crown. Maybe we want to attack him, Empire. What do you think about that? He says yes. Okay. Uh, we did get that truce too. Let's let's ask him for a charge. See if he's interested. Because I, I want to see him. Okay, no. This is exactly why I wanted his buy-in first. Is because I figured he'd be a little bit upset with me being the reason for his downfall. So let's just keep pushing into Empire for the time being. Russia's going to have to pick a side. If he attacks another player, though, I'm definitely going in on Russia. I'll Empire be gone. I'm going to vote for no. I don't want this game to end here. I really want to see how this is going to play out. I'm just going to be patient here. I'm just going to be patient. Varys wanted me to attack Russia. It's not the worst move. It's not the worst move. Now, I was really hoping that Empire and me could have a truce, but by by bygones be bygones is not how this game is going to fly. I don't really want to keep attacking him, though. I don't know where his troops are going. It looks like he's boating places. He keeps going down in troops very heavily, but I don't see any borders moving. This is a very tricky situation. There's not this if... Oof. Especially with full sins on. We're not going to end in peace, though. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. Earthquake is asking to attack, lose war. Okay, so let's evaluate this. We have two players that are saying they're going to help me. Let's do that. Let's bank on our alliances. Empire might attack me. Brothers, let's get in on this. There's Vari. Heck yeah. Just need Earthquake. Yes, Earthquake's in too. Okay, so we've regained the, cl the crown. Empire's even helping on this. Hey, maybe we'll be friends after all. So let's keep going into Russia. Hopefully we don't eat the full send unfortunately he just wasn't going to help me and i didn't have a scenario where he where i was going to win and this is the kind of the dangerous game you play when you stop you stop helping i've been in this situation too and it's a it's exactly what i would do exactly what he's doing in his situation play to win so no disregard on that but uh if i can take out a big player and get a lot of land i'm gonna do it now we could eat the full synth here it's gonna be very possible but we still have Earthquake and Vari who could be potentially allies and helping us take down Empire. So I'm not that concerned. He full sent on Empire. What? Oh, wow. What? That's insane. Earthquake got, was slow on the draw there. So we get a ton of land. And, you know, actually pretty happy with the end of this game. Maybe we uh, truce with Empire. Say, hey, brother, bygones be bygones. You know, we got the crown. We can peace out here. I'm per perfectly happy with that. That was a very good game. There, this would just delay it at this point because I, I really feel like I have Earthquake and Varia on my side. I don't think they'd turn on me. And er, Okay, Empire does give the truth, so we'll give the... Ooh, he attacked me. Oh, and somebody else peaced out. <laughs> okay, well, GG's to all involved. And as we start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this far in the episode. If you have made this far in the episode, hey, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.